Hello friends, this is Supriya. Welcome back to my channel Biology Reader. Today in this session, we will discuss the three states of water. So friends, let's get started. Friends, we know that water is a tasteless, colorless and odorless inorganic substance and it is composed of two major elements that are hydrogen and oxygen. Or we can say that water is an oxygen hydride that contains one oxygen atom covalently bonded to two hydrogen atoms. And this is the band structure of a water molecule. Friends, when we think of water, we generally get a picture of water in a liquid state. However, water exists in three different states as a liquid, solid or gas, depending upon the temperature, atmospheric pressure and the number of hydrogen bonds. Friends, do you know why Earth is known as the blue planet? It is because of 71% of the Earth's surface is covered with water. Another interesting feature is that the 60% of the human body is water and every cell, tissue and organ of our body needs water to perform important functions like digestion, regulation of the body temperature like sweating and respiration. Now we will discuss three states of water and their characteristic differences. Water is a natural substance that occurs in three physical states. Ice is the solid phase of water. Water also exists in a liquid state and water vapors constitute the gaseous state of water. Friends, we can easily differentiate these three states of water based on two important properties. One is the intermolecular spaces between the water molecules and secondly through the number of hydrogen bonds. Water in its solid phase contains very less intermolecular spaces because the water molecules in ice are compactly arranged or we can say that the water molecules are closely packed due to which an ice possesses a rigid shape. And ice contain more number of hydrogen bonds, generally 4 per water molecule. Then water molecules in liquid phase contain large intermolecular spaces where the molecules are firmly arranged or we can say that the water molecules can slide over one another to some extent. And liquid state of water contains a few hydrogen bonds. Finally, the gaseous phase of water, it means water vapor contains very large intermolecular spaces or the water molecules can move freely or independently because there is no hydrogen bond found between the neighboring water molecules. Let us discuss the physical states of water at different temperatures. The freezing point of water is 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, when the temperature of water falls to 0 degrees Celsius or below, water begins to freeze into an ice or we can say the water transits from a liquid to a solid phase. Then the temperature between 0 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius, water remains liquid. After that the melting point of water is 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore when the temperature rises up to 100 degrees Celsius or above, water turns into vapor or we can say that the water transits from a liquid to a gaseous phase. We will end up this video session by discussing the phase transitions in water along with the examples. Freezing is a liquid to solid phase transition and we can easily demonstrate this mechanism by refrigerating the liquid water in an ice tray. Then melting is the reverse phenomenon or process in which the solid ice converts back into liquid if kept at the room temperature. Therefore melting is a solid to liquid phase transition. Then vaporization is also called evaporation or liquid to gas phase transition. When the water is heated up to a boiling temperature or above, it begins to form vapors or steam. Condensation is a reverse of vaporization process in which the water vapors condense back into liquid water. Formation of cloud is a very common example of condensation where the water vapors in the atmosphere reach the condensation nuclei and transform into liquid droplets to form clouds. Therefore, condensation is a gas to liquid phase transition. Then deposition is also called desublimation or gas to solid phase transition. A very common example of deposition is the frost formation where the water vapors in the atmosphere meet a temperature below 0 degrees Celsius to form frost or tiny ice-like crystals. At last, sublimation is a solid to gas phase transition. Dry ice is a good example of sublimation that sublimes at the room temperature. So friends, this is all for today. To know this topic more in detail, you can visit our official website that is biologyreader.com. Link is provided in the description box. So friends, 
If you find this lesson useful, do like, comment, share, and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon for more videos.